there were two brothers and they were shepherds which means they looked after sheep. One day the two brothers went up onto the mountainside as they did every day to find the lush green grass that was growing there. Down below there was only desert but up here the grass grew green and the berries were ripe. The younger brother was looking at the wonderful view and he didn't notice the rocks beneath his feet. He stubbed his toe on a very sharp rock. Ow! 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 He called out. His brother had a look. His toe was bleeding badly. The elder brother grabbed some wool from the back of one of the sheep and wrapped it around his brother's foot. It made a very good bandage. And then the younger brother put his foot back into his boot and forgot all about it. That evening, the two boys went home for supper. They took their boots off before they sat down. But inside the younger brother's boot, there wasn't any lovely fluffy wool anymore. There was a wonderful soft blanket. All the wool had matted together to make felt. The brothers had discovered that by walking and heat and sweaty feet, wool could turn into felt. The mother was very excited at their discovery and the boys shared their story with everyone in the village. Now, in Central Asia, they make felt, tents and blankets and even shoes. And the secret of making felt has spread all around the world. There was once a little girl and she had a beautiful baby blanket made from the softest felt. Oh, she loved that blanket. She loved snuggling up underneath it and keeping warm. The only problem was that the little girl was growing and the blanket was staying the same size. It was too small for her new bed. Oh, what could she do? She took that blanket to her granddad. He was a tailor and good with a needle and thread. He took that blanket and he laid it out on his bench. Can you lay it out on your bench? That's it. And he rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. I can do something with this, he said. Well, first he drew shapes and he looked in his tins. He found needle and thread and he pulled out some pins. He started to snip and he started to sew and he turned it about. He had made something new. A coat! A coat made from a baby blanket. Oh, the little girl was so excited. She put it on straight away. Can you put your coat on straight away? That's it. And button it all up. She went outside and she went to the park. She wore it in the day and she wore it in the dark. She wore it in the slide. She wore it to climb trees. She wore it to the library. She wore it to buy cheese. She wore that coat everywhere she could. But oh dear, pretty soon it was all worn through. The elbows were holy. Now what would she do? She took it to her granddad and he fixed it up. He put patches there and she went back out. 
but pretty soon, oh no, she grew. Oh, what was the poor little girl to do? She took the coat back to Grandad and he laid it out on his bench. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. I can do something with this, he said. Well, first he drew shapes and he looked in his tins. He found needle and thread and he pulled out his pins. He started to cut and he started to sew and he turned it about. He had made something new, a sleeveless jumper. A sleeveless jumper made from a coat, made from a baby blanket. Oh, the little girl loved her jumper. She wore it to school. She wore it when she was dancing. She wore it when she was laughing. She wore it when she was prancing. She wore that jumper everywhere she could. She wore it in the wind and the rain and the snow. She wore it wherever she wanted to go. She wore it so much that she wore it through. Oh, what was the poor little girl to do? Hmm. She took it to Grandad. He'd sort it out. He laid it out on his bench. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. Can you rub your chin and scratch your head? I can do something with this, he said. Well, first he drew shapes and he looked in his tins. He found needle and thread and he pulled out some pins. He started to snip and he started to sew and he turned it about. He had made something new, a scarf, a scarf made from a jumper. Oh, the little girl, put that scarf on straight away. Can you put your scarves on? That's it. Oh, she wore it when she ran. She wore it when she hopped. She wore it when she danced. She wore it when she stopped. She wore it in the hail. She wore, wore it in the snow. She wore it wherever she wanted to go. She wore it in the rain when it was very wet. She wore it when she had a fishing net. She wore it everywhere she could. The only problem was she wore it so much that she wore it through. Oh, what was the poor little girl to do? She took it to Grandad. He laid it out on his bench. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. I can do something with this, he said. So first he drew shapes and he looked in his tins, he got needle and thread, and he pulled out his pins. He started to snip and he started to sew. He turned it about, he had made something new. A hat, a hat, made from a scarf, made from a jumper, made from a coat, made from a baby blanket. Oh, the little girl loved her new hat. She wore it all about the town. She wore it when she was happy, she wore it with a frown. She wore it here and she wore it there, she wore it nearly everywhere. She wore it in the wind, she wore it in the snow, she wore it in the rain, she wore it wherever she would go. She wore it so much that she wore it through Oh, what was the poor little girl to do? She took it to Grandad. He laid it out on his bench. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. I can do something with this, he said. So first he drew shapes and he looked in his tins. He found needle and thread and he pulled out his pins. He started to snip and he started to sew. He turned it about. He had made something new. Button, a button made from that beautiful felt. Oh, she loved that button. She put it on her shirt. She put it on her hat. She put it on her shoe. She put it on her skirt. She put it everywhere she could. Oh, she loved that button. She wore it so much. 
She wore it in the wind and the rain and the snow. She wore it wherever she wanted to go. She wore it so much that she wore it through. Oh, what was the poor little girl to do? She took it to Grandad. He laid it out on the bench. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. He rubbed his chin and he scratched his head. Hmm. I can do something with this, he said. So he took that button and he put it in his pocket. Can you put that button in your pocket? And then he pulled it out and he gave the little girl a story. And the little girl took that story and she kept it and she shared it with her children when she was grown up. And that story changed and that story grew like all good stories are meant to do. And now that story has come to you. And you can take it and share it with somebody new. Red thread spin it well, turn it tight about the wheel, kick the wheel to make it spin, then our story can begin. I love stories and I'm so happy that I got to share some of my favourites with all of you. But I was wondering if you'd got some stories that you want to share too. Maybe you can tell somebody else one of your stories, or you could draw a picture of it. Don't forget, stories are for sharing. Have fun. Bye bye.